Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van On Company. It's Wednesday, April 17th. I'm going to go over the markets. Uh, you had corn market fight its way back towards the close, trying to stay positive, uh, but it closed down at three quarters of a cent after trading majority of the day, two cents lower. This kind of feels like a victory, to be honest, even though you closed lower in corn market. The fact is we held these contract lows um, for the second day in a row. We've made new contract lows in both uh, Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat, so it's nice to see that we haven't broke those into the corn market. Uh, however, you saw a bit of pressure into the soybean market down over nine cents on the day. That has to do with the fact that you are on near or uh, made new contract lows for corn, Chicago wheat, Kansas City wheat, and Minneapolis wheat, but you are still just over 20 cents away from contract lows for that May soybean contract um, after being nine cents lower. So that's where a little bit of pressure is showing up there. When you look over to the wheat markets, they were steady to about two cents higher. So trying to find a way to come back after yesterday's really ugly day. Overall, there's not a lot of news out there right now. Towards uh, midday, we did get some information that they have slotted for um, Lies Heiser, the US trade representative to go over to China. Um, the end of April, and then they will come over back to Washington uh, May 5th. So hopefully we get some more information out of these trade talks and continue to progress. Everything sounds like it's going good, but you don't have any concrete answers. You don't have any developments, and that's where it's not giving the market any support. We need some demand to show up here, and that brings us to tomorrow. We have export sales tomorrow. We need those to be strong to help these markets finish on a positive note. It is the last trading day of the week. Um, the markets are closed Friday for Good Friday, and so that'll be interesting to see how we can finish this week off. When you look at meat markets, quiet trade for cattle markets, trading both sides, cattle on feed tomorrow as well. So it's a big day for some reports. Uh, you probably will see light cash trade coming in then, but with a short week, we might not see too much of it. So it'll be interesting to see if what cattle wants to do out of this cattle on feed. And then hog markets continue to build that premium into the deferred contracts. June hogs down a buck, but these hogs over a buck higher. And that has to do with the fact that China said late uh, last quarter of 2019, they expect hog prices in China to be 70% higher than they were a year ago due to African swine fever problems. And so that is one thing to watch, and that's probably why you're seeing that premium be built into those deferred contracts. Outside markets were quiet majority of the day, so nothing to talk about there. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading futures and options involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.